Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert from MrHardware.com here at Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores to talk about rekeying locks. How to change locks and maybe how to choose a lock that's harder to pick or harder to bump is the new term for amateurs picking locks and breaking in the homes. So what we have here is my producer brought in his deadbolt from his house. It's a new one. It takes this key. He doesn't like this key. This is his real house key and it doesn't work the lock. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the lock apart, we're going to change it from the key it came with to his existing house key. You pop off the retaining clip on the back of the lock, pull the tail piece out. Now here's the dangerous part. When we put the key in and turn the cylinder, the cylinder can slide out of the hole. What you need to know is that on top of this cylinder are spring-loaded pins. See that little pin there? Here, we'll let that dude jump up. Oh! We lost the pin. Don't let this happen to you. What you do is you put a follower in, so as you push the lock out, the follower holds all the pins at bay. What we're going to do is we're going to take this follower, we're going to drop the spring and the pin back in the hole. This is a little bit like that game operation that we I played when I was a child. We get the spring in there. This is called the top pin. This pin is spring loaded and lives in the top of the lock. There. So their spring loaded pin is back in his hole with the spring holding him in with the follower holding him in place. Our cylinder is now reassembled. Now the lock this, came, this key came with is a relatively easy key or lock to bump or to pick because all the pins are in succession. So to get all the pins to stand flush, a person that's trying to jump them up and down with a bump or a lock pick set, they have to get these pins to jump up and down, minding the spring-loaded pins up above, pushing down on them until they're all at just the right height so that I can rotate the cylinder. So when the proper key is in place, the pins are flush, the spring-loaded pins are flush, the cylinder can rotate. All is good. So, but this key, being all the pins sort of in a succession, not too different from each other, makes this kind of easy lock to pick. Fortunately, my producer, he's got a different kind of key. High, low, high, low pins. So when we put his key in, cylinder will not turn because three of the spring-loaded pins are down in the holes preventing us from turning. One pin is too high, one pin is the right height. So out of all these pins, four are preventing the cylinder from rotating, hence some amateur just can't walk in and break into his house. So what we do now is we knock out all the pins we don't like. They're all different heights, they're all the same diameter, for this particular kind of lock. So being a quick set, we start with the tall quick set pin, first slot in the cylinder, and the key is deep. So we need a long pin so that when the key is in, the pin is flush with the top. The next pin is real high. Probably a quick set two pin. We grab a two pin, we throw it in there. Oh, it's a little low. We don't like the two pin. We put them back. We grab the three pin. Put it in there. Beautiful thing. Flush. Okay, what's number four and five look like? Four is low, five is a little higher. So we take a quick set. We take a stab at a quick set number four. Ooh, way too low. So we'll go for a quick set five. Bet he goes into the five hole. Pretty nice. One more to go. We'll a quick set six pin. And voila, our cylinder has now been repinned. And as we operate it, the pins go up and down. Spring loaded pins are up above. So when we take this key out, five spring loaded pins fill all five holes. That cylinder will not rotate unless the pins are flush. We can take this, put it back in the cylinder, take out our dangerous, right? Dangerous. It can slide out of there. We don't lose any top pins. So we take, we pull our key out. Now the cylinder is trapped. All five pins are holding it in place. Once we put a retaining clip back on it, like 
thusly. Now when we put in my producer's house key, lock turns, but it won't come out. Retaining clip is on the end, keeping the cylinder from coming out of the hole. It's that easy to rekey a lock and they're very simple operation.